Hello guys, this is Prankur. Welcome to my channel Begin Endless Automation. And today we are going to learn how to filter data tables in UiPath. If you are working with Excel workbooks, you must know how to handle data tables. And filtering a data table is one of the most important functionalities if you are using data tables. So we would be looking at some of the options with which we can filter the data tables in easiest ways. First one is filter data table activity of UiPath, which is very helpful and easy to work with. Second one is data table dot select method. And third one, we would be looking at how to do it with link queue. So let's see how we can work with these kind of methods in UiPath one by one. For now, I'm not showing filter data table activity uh, of UiPath because it is a straightforward activity and you just have to select input and output data tables and some variables and by putting just some conditions, you can filter the data table. So now we will uh, look into first method, which is data table dot select. So I have already created a data table. You can also use Excel sheet and read the data from there if you want. So this is our data table. It is kind of uh, student info and based on name, we would be filtering the data table. So I have given the name to variable as input DT. Now I will take a sign activity. I have already created one more variable to output this data table. That is output DT. Now we'll write our input dt dot select then quotes the name of your column and the condition with which you would be filtering and copy to data table it will copy all the rows to this data table now let's take output data table activity which will show us the result so it takes input as data table so i'll give data table variable as output and i have created a result variable which is a text uh, type as result so we'll use message box to show the data so i'll write result and I'll just hit run file. So you can see that it has filtered the data table based on name, what we have given. Now we'll use another method, which is link queue. So how to write it in link queue? So I'll use from, let's say P for instance, P in our input data table dot as enumerable so that we can query this data table. And then we would put where condition, where our column name is name. Dot equals is name and finally we'll write select p so this is it now we'll write copy to data table and we'll press ok now let's run this and let us see what it will return so it is returning the same data okay now there is one more way which let me show you one more thing let's say we convert this to in 32 and let's say we are working on marks column and we want to give a condition something like where marks 
or greater than 20. So let's see what it returns. So as you can see, it is returning the data where marks are greater than 20. So I'll press OK. Now another way for link queue is our input data table dot as enumerable dot where condition then we should write our our column name dot equals here we'll provide condition dot copy to data table should also return the same result so as you can see it has returned the data based on name so these are the ways in which we can filter the data table these are some of the simplest ways and if you are doing with link queue uh, it is the fastest one so i'll make some more videos on how to operate with how to play with data tables with different operations till then thank you very much thanks for watching